every time you look at the world, it's the observer, it's your perception that's determining the entire world you see. It's not just an external world where events are happening in a concrete physical world that has nothing to do with you. It really has you, the person that you believe you are and the world you perceive are all part of a projection that the one mind is projecting. And so everyone is acting just as you want them to act. Everyone is saying the very words you want. It's like, imagine you had a, a, a play and you passed out the parts. Say, here, you're going to play Hamlet and you're going to play this one and you're going to play the And you passed out all the parts and everybody speaks exactly the words that you wrote, the ego wrote in an ancient instant. And everybody says and does and behaves exactly the way the ego planned it. And so the script is written and it's just a movie playing out of your wishes. It's a motion picture of your mind. That's why you're not a victim is because the mind is doing it to itself. It's not at the mercy of people. It's projected to people. The people are saying and doing everything that the ego told them to do. And then the spirit is trying to get you to come back, 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 all the way back and see that you're dreaming the whole thing. That you're not even a character on the screen. You never were even a character. You're dreaming and then behind that you're the Christ. You're actually at one with God. But if you have to realize you're the dreamer of it first, but otherwise the victimization and the grievances just keep going on and on and getting acted out for thousands, tens of hundreds of thousands of years, these grievances get acted out in time. Or you can come all the way back to one simple realization that you're dreaming.